Hello everyone! Today we have a cooking video. It's actually a two-part. First we're going to unbox our brand new Instant Pot pressure cooker. I'll see how that looks. I don't have my box cutter. My box cutter is over there somewhere. So this is the new box cutter. Let's see what we got. Ooh, it's another box. Look at that. Oh my. That looks fun. What do we got here? Instant Pot 6-in-1 multi-use programmable pressure cooker with advanced microprocessor technology cook up to 70% taster. Easy one-touch controls. Stainless steel cooking pot. Brush stainless steel. It's got accessories. It's got 12 month warranty. Alright. Let's take it out of the box. Welcome to the world of instant pot cooking. We have many resources to help you get started. What do we have first? We have a cooking time guidelines. Asparagus is one to two minutes. All right then. We got the user manual. All the important safeguards, read all instructions, do this, don't do anything stupid, not for commercial use. Don't use it for anything except what they want you to. Don't push stuff over, put your hand over the, wow. Well, don't put your hand over the steam valve, it says. Control panel, usage instructions. Came with a recipe book and everything too. All kinds of different things you can cook. Butternut squash and soup, clam chowder, mini meatball broth, back ble black bean soup. Jasmine rice, brown rice, all kinds of different cool recipes. Styrofoam packing piece. Mm -hmm. There's the pot. Alright. Oh, wow, look at that. Lots of warnings. Apparently, we're supposed to do an initial test run. A little tray here for putting in the bottom if you're doing canning, I guess. I'm not going to be using that, I don't think, anytime soon. I'm not doing canning right now. Beautiful. What's the packaging? Came with ladles and a cup measure, which is perfect because I needed a cup measure. Alright, it wants me to do a initial test run. All right, getting started. Is set. Remove all the warning cards and labels. All right, so for the first test run, you're supposed to add three cups of water. Three measuring cups. That's three of these. Now it says close the lid. Well, that means how? How do you close the lid? Oh, like that. And then, yeah, now that lid is closed. Okay. Now I have to plug it in. Okay. Steam handle is supposed to be in the ceiling position, which it is. Right there. Press the steam button and take off the plastic. So it doesn't melt onto it or something. Alright, so it says press the steam button and push the plus and minus to adjust to two minutes. Preheating cycle will start after 10 seconds and the cooker will display on. Traces of steam may release until the float pops up. The steam program will begin after a few moments when the working pressure is reached. 
the cooker will beep and automatically switch to keep warm if the auto keep warm function is on. I'll let that go for a minute here and see how long it takes to heat up. Not making any noise yet. And of course it's not like melting hot. It shouldn't be really hot on the outside like that yet at least. I'll let that go for a minute. Important thing to note about this thing. This uses a thousand watts of electricity. So you gotta be careful what you plug it into. If you plug it into something that's too, um, can't handle that amount of electricity, it's gonna blow the circuit breaker. Here comes the steam. And now the pressure is rising. Apparently you can make cakes with this. There we go. The pressure release is now venting. It's reached working pressure. Look at that. Now that is the jet of steam you do not want to touch. It would melt your fingers off pretty quickly. And it's done. That's very dangerous. Wow, that be so easy to burn yourself with that. It's best just not to even put your fingers near that. Now we'll give it 10 minutes to cool down here and we're going to go and start our first meal. Let's get the stuff ready for that. All right, so the recipe I got today is from a place called Natasha's Kitchen. It's Natasha's Kitchen Instant Pot Rice Beef Claw. And we're using brown rice because it's way better for you and it takes a lot longer to cook and since we're using a pressure cooker you need that to take a long time to cook otherwise it's going to turn to mush so first thing that we're going to need we're going to need two and a half cups of short grain brown rice this is just brown rice i don't know if it's long or short grain but it'll do Unfortunately, I don't have something to put this in after I open the bag, and it's not resealable, so we have to cut a little tiny hole in it. Shout out to Dave Jones from EEV Blog, because you all know he unboxes his stuff with a knife like that. <laughs> it still has the caution plastic thing in it. Caution, machete is a dangerous tool if not used properly. And should used with the utmost of care and caution. The use of the machete, other than cutting, is considered in proper use and may result in injury or damage. Use of the saw blade of our branches for one inch of diameter or less. If saw blade jams, blah 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 blah. Warning. Be nice to your machete. Or your machete will hurt you badly. Right, so we need one and a half cups here. Did I say one and a half? I meant two and a half. One two and a half. 
Actually, there's all the rice we need. Well, that'll have to get put away somewhere where the bugs can't get to. Well, that's going to need to be rinsed. Put that aside for now. Because we'll rinse that when we're ready to actually do that. We have the meat in the fridge inside. We're going to do that afterwards. For some reason it says to um, not use this, but I'm going to use it anyway. Sounds like it's starting to rain. Okay, there's instructions. You have to follow the instructions, otherwise this isn't going to turn out at all. Okay, first thing I knew is, need to do is rinse the rice. Okay, I'm supposed to use a strainer for this, but that requires a strainer. So we're going to be creative. One could definitely rinse rice better than that, but that's about all I can do. Now we need to take the lid off. It's singing at me. Wow, there's a lot of residue in this water. I should be using softened water. It's going to ruin my pot. Hot, hot, hot. I'm going to go get some some good water. So put our rice aside here. There's all kinds of sediment residue in here now. We need to wash out. So yeah, don't use hard water or you will clog up your pressure cooker with sediment after the first run. I need to dry that. I'm going to grab a paper towel. I'm about to put oil in there so I don't want water residue. So, first thing, okay. add four tablespoons of oil. Convert four tablespoons to milliliters. Four tablespoons is 59.147 milliliters. 59 milliliters. What do you want, puppy? There's a mosquito in the pot. Go away, mosquito. I don't want cooked mosquitoes. I'm going to add oil. Alright. Then we need to push saute twice. So, where's the saute button? One, two. Okay, there we go. Now, we want to, we'll be adding the beef once that gets hot, but we'll also be adding onion. Oil is heating. Hello. It goes well. Oh yeah, I see it. Okay. I'm chopping onions with a machete. Oh yeah. It's working well. Oh. Yep. Still chopping yeah. onions. Oh yeah. He's belly, so. Anyways, I just wanted to work it Yeah, I've got pretty much everything okay. I'm um, gonna make sure the peppers are all right. I'm watching on them. I might end up just putting them back because of the storm. But we'll see how stormy it gets. Oh yeah, you know it's got it coming. Yeah, for sure. Okay. See you soon. Uh, well, I'm not going there right now. Well, so. I'm just, I don't know. I'm concentrating on the onions. Oh, I see. <laughs> Probably a good thing. Yeah, that's what the, the label on the machete said, is to be very careful with it. <laughs> Be careful with any knife. Alright, we'll talk to you later. Okay, sounds good. Bye for now. Alright, the pot is hot. It's ready for the meat. How much meat did I actually buy? I didn't actually check how much it was. It is one pound. A little bit over a pound. And the recipe, I think, calls for a pound. Yeah. 
with a uh, so just put the whole pot, the whole thing of meat right in the pot right now. And be careful not to burn ourselves or cross contaminate. We splash it up and it could make a mess. Oh that is the nicest stewing beef I've ever seen. That goes right in here. Now I need to go wash my hands. Alright, it says to stir it a bit. So lightly browned it says. Alright, then we need to add uh, four tablespoons of butter. We're going to be using margarine because it's a lot cheaper than butter and it has no lactose in it. And I can't lactose. So, margarine it is. Add that should be enough. Need this for the spices. Put the onions in like that. Stir it around. Okay, carrots. How many carrots? Mm. Three large carrots. I'm gonna wash these. It's too bad I don't have a proper cutting. Losing carrot. No. We'll see how this turns out. I'm not sure if you're supposed to make them smaller or not. Okay, spices. I don't have my salt here. Where did my salt go? Well, the camera battery died part way through mixing in all those ingredients. So we've got all of our stuff in the pot now. And it's on and we should be back in about 45 minutes with a fully cooked meal. Cooking is done. Let's see if it turned out. Hmm. There's still a lot of pressure in there. Oh, check this out. Oh yeah, carrot is cooked all the way. That is perfect. Rice is nice and a little bit chewy, but not mushy. The carrot is soft as... You could mash the carrot easily. It's a little too hot to eat. Mm. Perfect. Too hot. I let it cool. But it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm so pleased. I will eat this and enjoy it greatly. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and you know the things. See y'all later. Thanks for watching.